Let's move on to Africa now. Clashes erupted in the Senegalese capital of Dakar shortly after opposition leader Usman Sonko was sentenced to two years in prison on Thursday on charges of corrupting the youth. Protesters set a car alight and threw rocks at the police who responded with tear gas. His supporters maintain his legal troubles are part of a government effort to derail his candidacy in the 2024 presidential election. Here now is a report. Riots broke out in Senegal's capital Dakar on Thursday after opposition leader Ousmane Sonko was sentenced to two years in jail. The court ruling, which Sonko says was based on politically motivated charges, undermines his chances of running for the presidency next year. Sonko had been accused of raping a woman when she was 20 and making death threats against her. The criminal court cleared him of rape, but found him guilty of the separate criminal offence described in the penal code as immoral behaviour towards individuals younger than 21. Separately, Sonko is appealing a six-month suspended prison sentence for libel. Shortly after Thursday's verdict was announced, violence erupted at a central university campus. Protesters set a car alight and threw rocks at police who responded with tear gas. Demonstrations are not uncommon in Senegal and typically increase around elections. But President Macky Sall's second term has been particularly turbulent for a country usually viewed as one of West Africa's strongest democracies. That's partly because Sall's critics fear he'll use a 2016 constitutional change to bypass term limits. He's not ruled out running again. Sonko has also tapped into frustrations among voters around perceptions that Saal has failed to create jobs or improve livelihoods since first coming to power over a decade ago. On Wednesday, Saal launched a national dialogue aimed at easing tensions. He told assembled politicians, religious leaders and members of civic society that the government would ensure peaceful, free and transparent elections next year. However, the event was boycotted by Sonko and other opposition figures. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.